Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Today's nail art look is just me playing around with Holo Taco's 4th Anniversary Retro Collection. Alright, before we get into it, we'll go through the collection box a little bit. It comes in this cute VHS looking <laughs> box. Look at this. Limited edition 4th anniversary collection 2023. And it has a sleeve just like a, a normal VHS Simon <laughs> <Seven> player. <laughs> but look how cool that is. And then you flip it around. And then open it up. And this collection has five curly jelly type of polishes. They are blue, be kind, and rewind. Pink is Life in Plastic. The orange is Box Office Bomb. The purple is Antihero. And the yellow is High Def. Alright, so <laughs> I did a lot of swatching uh, for this. <laughs> There's a, there's just so much I feel like you can do with this collection since the polishes are jelly-ish and buildable and blendable. So this is just me experimenting with things. I even threw in text haven in there at the end. I'll do something with that later. But for now we're just going to use two colors because that's what I wanted to do. Um, starting off with our base coat of course. I'm using Peely Base this time. base coat is dry and ready and I primarily wanted to use yellow and I also really like blue so I decided to use high def and be kind rewind and the great thing about these two is that they make a nice green <laughs> so I'm just going straight from the bottle and doing kind of an initial layer as you can see it's very sheer as it's meant to be and just putting on some initial layers here and I'll do the same thing with high def. All right, first coat's done. And going in with the second coat and still using the brush from the bottle you could use just one of the other brushes one of the detail brushes to get probably thicker layers but I wanted the wide brush just to cover more surface area since my nails are pretty wide <laughs> And also this is pretty haphazard. The main thing I wanted to try out is just layering them and building it and then blending it once I got the base colors on. Alright, second coat's done. And going in with the third coat and using the detail brush this time, or striping brush. I'm just calling it detail brush because I'm not making stripes. <laughs> and this time I'm going in and in addition to filling in the yellow to make it more yellow, I'm going a little bit over the blue also to try and get some more of that like punchy lime green. Alright, and I'm happy with that for now. So we, we are going to do the same thing with blue. So I'll just use the same little brush and go in with the blue to just really punch that blue up a bit. And also overlap 
some more on the yellow and green spots so that that the green will show through more. And there we go. Three-ish coats. <laughs> and I also decided to use Blue Flaky Hollow Taco from the first anniversary collection. And I'm still using the little detail brush and I'm just putting the sparkles on mostly the blue parts um, and not all over the blue, just on certain spots. Just to add a little bit of sparkle to there just because I wanted extra. <laughs> Yeah, and there it is. Looks nice. Looks kind of earth-like, earthy. I couldn't remember what this reminded me of. It wasn't a drink. I would want to say like lemon lime, but there's no blue in lemon lime. Um, so I'm not sure what it reminded me of, um, other than the Ukrainian flag, I suppose. And now I'm just going in and doing some cleanup around the sides because I did zero of it while I was putting this on. <laughs> So just gonna clean that up and then also going to go off camera to clean up more around my cuticles just because it's it's easier to see like closer to my face <laughs> Alright, cleanup's done and finishing it off with a glassy taco, of course. And that's it. Super simple. Here's the indoor shot with the same lighting and situation I had while filming. And now we're getting into inspection time. Looking at the thumb. Yeah. I feel like maybe I could have even done a little bit more blue, but you can see some of that green closer to like the top of my cuticle. You can see it punch more there. Alright, my pointer finger. Cleaned up the cuticles a little bit better there. Did, I think, when did I do this footage? I don't remember. <laughs> but it was after a little bit of time, and so like my cuticles got a little dry. Oh, that's what it was. I did my nail art, and then I had to leave for lunch. I went and got boba. Um, ooh, ring fingers. Not ring finger. Uh, middle finger. Middle fingers. Looking pretty good. I like that one. Could have just used some little nail oil in at the top there. Ring finger. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. You can see some little bit of skinny bits at the top there. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, I think I did a pretty decent job with the cleanup. And yeah, you can still see the jelly uh, through my, like, where the nail line is. And, you know, obviously... That's kind of intended. But yeah, you can see more of the green on my pinky finger too. I think. I feel. I can. <laughs> Alright, inspection over. Now we're going outside. And gonna do the shade to direct sunlight.